Hi everyone, my name is Brian. I'm a student here at the University of Oulu and I study in biomedical engineering. I study signal and image processing, which is more of the computer science side of this biomedical engineering field. This means that rather than looking at the devices that actually collect the data, we're looking at what to do with the data after it's collected. I ended up coming here because of my undergraduate that I did in biomedical engineering that got me very, very interested in this signal and image processing. Uh, and then the reason that I came to Oulu specifically is because I was Googling universities in Finland and I found that uh, Oulu has this really interesting entrepreneurial community, and it's also a big city for tech startups. For me, my favorite part about studying at the University of Oulu is just how much control you have over your studies. You're able to sort of choose what you want to work on for your master's thesis, and I find the professors really listen to you, and then you're also allowed to have a fairly high degree of control over what you're studying as well. So I was able to get involved with courses in machine learning and artificial intelligence, even though those aren't necessarily a part of my program. So during my studies here in Oulu, I'm also also working as a research and teaching assistant. That means that as a research assistant, I've been given a project that I've been working on. For that project, I went through the entire process of uh, buying, building, and programming a device for gate collection. So this is one of the neat applications of computer vision that we have going in the University of Oulu. Uh, this is actually in the hallway of the faculty where I work and study, and it's a program that analyzes your facial features to determine uh, your mood, so it'll tell whether you're happy or sad, and it can also determine your heart rate just based on the changes in color in your face, which is really cool. So I'm here with a colleague and a classmate of mine, Oana, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what she's researching here. I am a data analyst processing data collected by the, the University Hospital about uh, children with type 1 diabetes. So I'm developing machine learning methods for assessing the reasons behind the risk of type 1 diabetes in these children. And I'm using uh, statistical softwares like R and MATLAB to obtain results. Yeah, I remember using a lot of these uh, R and MATLAB programs during a lot of our courses. So have these courses actually helped you during the research? They have actually helped me very much because uh, when I started studying, I had basic knowledge in these kind of softwares and the languages. So uh, everything I learned in the courses have helped me towards this work. All right, so now the sun is shining and the snow is finally melting, but uh, how exactly did you survive Finnish winter? I've actually enjoyed Finnish winter very much. It's been a lot of snow, very magical, and I've actually had a part-time job as a ski instructor. Uh, there's actually quite good skiing trails around here and also a couple of good ski resorts, as in downhill ski resorts. And so winter for me has been quite, quite exciting. How about you? Well, I kind of have a different approach to winter in the sense that I usually stay inside a little bit more. But that actually got me into a new hobby, which was uh, indoor rock climbing. So Olu has like a really sweet uh, climbing gym here, and I've been getting better and better at that, and that progression feels really good. That sounds really cool. Hi again, we're here at the Kaltikangas campus, and I'm here with another classmate of mine, Deponkert, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the research that he's doing here at the University of Oulu. I'm now in my final year. I'm doing my master's thesis in research unit of medical imaging physics and technology, which is an integral part of uh, Oulu University Hospital. Here we are dealing with real patient and real disease. And now my research focus is uh, bone and cartilage. If I want to say more specifically, it's osteoarthritis disease. Okay. Could you tell me a little bit more about the laboratory and the data that you're working with? Uh, and now I'm working in PLM lab. PLM is a polarized light microscopy where I'm using a spectroscopy measurement system for figure out the collagen orientation in ligament. And you know ligament is the main load bearing component and the knee, it's play a vital role in your knee joint. So I'm trying to figure out the collagen orientation and crimp angle in ligament. That sounds great, thanks. Thank you. So I have some tips for all of you who are interested in applying to the University of Oulu. And the biggest tip that I can give you is to spend a lot of time working on your motivation letter. I know from speaking to the teachers in my program that they spend a lot of time looking at these letters and one of the things that stands out is that you really know your field well and you know what you might want to be working on for your thesis. 
So I've already been starting to use some of the skills that I've learned here at the University of Oulu. Uh, some of these skills I learned through courses. So uh, for my thesis, I'm using a lot of skills that I built during my signal processing and signal analysis courses because I'm working with large quantities of data in my thesis. And in order to work with that data more efficiently, I'm using a lot of those course built skills. But in addition to courses, I'm also learning a lot of programming related skills by participating in hackathons in Oulu and all around Finland. So after I graduate from the University of Oulu sometime this year, I plan on continuing with biomedical engineering, working in some sort of company doing signal analysis. So some of the companies that are interested do sport and fitness tracking, or larger medical equipment companies. But uh, right now, what's in, of interest to me is going climbing. So I'll see you all later.